Hand to heart center, Namaskar Mudra. Let's open our practice with three arms. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. One more. Inhale. facing up. Put the index finger and the thumb together. Yana Mudra. A mudra of knowledge. So today we're going to do a yin practice to balance the solar and lunar energies. So we want to balance left and right sides of the body left and right sides of the brain, the whole nervous system. We're also going to be twisting as well and with twisting in a lying position and a seating position we're stimulating the digestive system and the apan system or the elimination system. We're also giving a gentle massage and detoxing the liver and kidneys. So let's come into a few rounds of Aloma for Loma, alternate nostril breathing. Keep your left hand on your knee, palms facing up in Jhana Mudra. Take the two piece fingers of the right hand to the third eye center. And then exhale through both nostrils. Cover the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left for five, four, three, two, and one. Close the left nostril with the pinky fingers. Exhale right for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale right. Just pause at the top. Thumb to the right nostril. Exhale left. Relax the shoulders. Inhale left. Close left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Allow the shoulders to fall away from the ears. Inhale left. Close left, exhale right. Inhale 
Inhale, bow. Close the right. Exhale, bow. Inhale, left. Close left. Exhale, right. Inhale, right. Close right. Exhale, left. Let's do one more round. Inhale, left. Close left. Exhale, right. Close right, exhale left. Float the right hand down to the right knee. Coming into your Jhana Mudra. Allow the chin to be parallel with the earth. Take the gaze forward, inner gaze. And take your drishti onto the tip of the nose. So we'll do a few rounds of orbit breath here. You're setting your intention for today's practice. It's your practice. This is your time. So on the inhale, we're going to start at the tip of the nose with the drishti, and as we inhale up to the crown, we'll start the Muladhara Chakra, tip of the nose. As we inhale, we're going to take our drishti to the third eye center and our breath up to the Sahiswara chakra. Then on the exhale, coming back down through the chakras, bring your drishti down to the tip of the nose. Exhale. Drishti on the tip of the nose. Inhale from the Muladhara chakra. For seven counts, coming up through each chakra. Five, six, seven. So the drishti is now to the third eye center. The breath is at the crown. Exhale down through the chakras. Drishti comes down to the tip of the nose. Inhale, Muladhara Chakra, up through the chakras, Muladhara, Manipura, Swadhisthana, Anahata, Vishuddhi, Agya, Sahiswara. Drishti to the third eye. Exhale from Sahiswara Chakra, Vishuddhi, Anahata. Down through to the Muladhara Chakra. And Drishti is to the tip of the nose. Inhale from the Muladhara Chakra. Manipura, Swadhisthana, Anahata, Vishuddhi, Agya, Sahiswara. Drishti to the third eye. Exhale down from the crown, third eye, to the throat, Anahata Chakra, Swadhisthana, Manipura, Moradhara Chakra. Still a couple more rounds here in your own time. Allow the shoulders to soften, melt towards the earth. One more breath. 
then let's just take the block off to the side. Bring the soles of the feet together. We're going to come into a butterfly pose here. So sit high on the sit bones, pull the fleshy bits out from underneath. You can uh, bring the toes together, uh, bring the feet together, sorry. Draw the knee heels in towards the groin. If you like today, if it's in your practice, you can bring the feet away from the body, lengthen through the spine, inhale, and then exhale, fold forward. You can make a pillow with the hands here. Or maybe bring a block to support the forehead. So you can stay here with the knees forward, with the feet forward, sorry, or you can bring the feet in a little bit closer. Take the, clasp the hands underneath, we're going to inhale, and then exhale, fold forward. Just come to your edge, resolve to stay still. We're here for five minutes. Just breathe. It's a breathing from the Mulatara Chakra right through to the crown. Soft to jive breath. And with each exhalation, visualize the breath going back down through the chakras to the Mulatara Chakra. Three minutes to go. Stay with me. Way there. And just breathe here. If this is too much, being close to the body, and then bring the feet out. Lengthen through the spine and then fold forward one.
last 60 seconds, we're almost there. Breathe. You jive. Breathe. Forty seconds. Twenty seconds, almost there. Straighten out the legs and then just give them a bit of a shake here. So let's come on to all fours. We're coming into a dragon pose. So we're going to do everything on the right side first. So come into table, tuck the toes and then exhale into mountain. Maybe walking the dog here for a little while. We're going to inhale, raise the right leg. Bring the right foot outside the right hand. Same here on high drag and come onto the top of that left foot. Stay here on high dragon for a few moments, allowing the hips to sink, allowing the groin to open here. You can bring a, a bolster around to the front and use that in a moment, not just yet. Just breathe, jai breath. Visualize your breath coming up through all the chakras on the inhale to crown. And then on the exhale, back down to the Muladhara chakra. So you can come onto the elbows now, into our low dragon. Using a bolster if you like. If you don't want to use a bolster, that's okay as well. You can come down to the mat, onto the elbows. Allow the knee to fall out to the side by coming up onto the side of that right foot. It's just opening up that hip a little more. Take the gaze over the right shoulder. Dragon lifts its wings. And just breathe here. Soft your jaw breath. Center, come up onto the hands and just 
draw the right knee forward. So just giving that front ankle and the back heel a nice stretch here. Sliding the left leg back. Just as much as you can give this a go. We're going to come into our dragon splits. So you can take a bolster or a block, place it underneath the right buttocks. Fingertips on the earth. Into our dragon splits. So you can bring the hands to the heart center and namaskar mudra. 30 seconds. Ten seconds, we're almost there. Remove your bolster. Let's come back up into down dog. Little stretch here. And then come to the knees. Let's come into a half saddle here. So set yourself up with your blocks in your bolster. Lay your bolster like this. I've only got a little bolster but that's fine. So left leg comes out in front and the right leg is bent with the um, heel outside the right hip. Tilt the tailbone here and lay back down over your bolster. I've only got a little bolster, so I'm just gonna keep my head supported here. But otherwise you can bring your hands about around behind the head. And just breathe. Visualize your breath coming up through the chakras and then exhaling down. Soft your jive breath. Here for three minutes. Stay with it. thoughts come into your mind just acknowledge them let them go this is your time now allow 
the body to melt into the bowl. Another 20 seconds on this side. Inhale, coming up with helping hands. Let's bring that right leg around in front. Take the bolster and blocks off to the side. Laying back down. So raise both legs. Take the left leg over the right. And then just bring it underneath the right ankle. Inhale, arms out to the side. Exhale, allow both legs to fall to the right side. Take the gaze to the left. If it's in your practice, you can bring that right hand on to the left knee. We're here for five minutes. Nice twist here right through the waist, right through all the abdominal organs. We're also stimulating the digestive system, our ascending colon. the body to melt with each exhalation. We're halfway there. Stay here. Let go of any tension.
Last 60 seconds. Six, breathing. Visualizing the breath, ebbing and flowing. Each inhale runs into the exhale, back into the inhale again. Like the tide in the ocean. Inhale up to centre, undo the legs. Bring the knees into the chest, give them a big hug. Let's do some circles here. Just massaging the sacrum. Back the other way. Let's coming up to a seated position with three rocks. Keep your left leg bent. Let's bring the right ankle onto that left knee. Coming into eye of the needle and then hands on the earth. Let's sit forward here. We're getting a nice stretch right through the back of the leg. And just breathe. It's long spine. closer you come to that, the buttocks to the left leg, the stronger the pose is. So just come to your edge and resolve to stay still. Visualizing the breath on the inhale from the Mooladhara Chakra. The drishti is on the tip of the nose, inhaling all the way to the crown. And the drishti comes up to the third eye center. Shunya Mudra. We're halfway there, two minutes to go. Thoughts come into your mind. Just a 
acknowledge them, let them go. And come back to your breath. Sixty seconds. Twenty seconds, almost there. Ten seconds. Just allow that left leg to come out in front. Bend the left leg. We're coming into square pose here. So the right ankle stays on the left knee. You can sit high on the sit bones. What you want to do here is stack the lower legs. So when you look over, you can see the legs are just nicely stacked on top of each other. Fingertips are on the earth. You'll really feel this pose in the hips. Just come to your edge. You don't want any pain here. You do want a little bit of discomfort and you'll find as we stay in the pose for time, the body will naturally melt into the pose. Bring the hands out to the side. Raise the left hand. Bring the left hand onto the back of the neck, or back of the spine. Take the right hand, take hold of the left elbow. And just draw that elbow towards the center of the head, towards the crown. stay here or bring the right hand around to take hold of the lift. If you can't reach, take your belt. Take hold of your belt, draw the right left elbow to the sky, right elbow to the earth. here for another two minutes we're halfway there Last 60 seconds.
seconds. Almost there. Let that go. Take the belt off to the side. Let's bring that right foot now over to the left side into shoelace. Make any adjustments, both buttocks are on the earth. Inhale. Exhale, let's take the left elbow to the outside of that right knee. Take the gaze over the right shoulder. Right fingertips are on the earth. So we're coming into a nice twist here, stimulating the apart uh, the um, digestive system one more time. The liver and the kidneys. And just allow any tension to release from the legs. If you're holding any tension, let it go. into jhana mudra or just the palms open gentle pressure and lift up through the spine and just breathe here Thirty seconds. Let's come back through centre, just over to the left side, just for a little counter twist. And then back through centre. Undo the legs, windscreen wiper here. So that's our left side done. Our right side done, sorry. We're going to come into the left side now. So those same poses through the left side. You will feel a little bit different here until we start to align with each pose. So the right and the left side will feel a lot different at the moment. Let's bring that back into balance. Coming up onto all fours. Then up onto mountain. Walk the dog. So our first pose is dragon pose. Inhale, raise the left leg. Bring the left foot to the outside of the left hand. 
slide the right leg away. Bring your bolster if you want to use the bolster. So we're here in high dragon for 60 seconds. Just breathe here. Soft your jive breath. Visualizing the breath coming up through the chakras. And on the exhale down to the Mulatara chakra. And the drishti comes down to the tip of the nose. Inhale. Drishti comes up through the to the third eye. So then coming onto the outside of that left foot. Just move here so you can see. And then come down onto the elbows. You can come down onto your block or bolster if that's in your practice. Just breathe here. Try to let go of any tension. Let's inhale up. Taking that left hand onto the left knee, take the gaze over the left shoulder. to the hands just tuck the toes and slide forward here so we're giving the ankle and the heel a nice length and it allows a nice compression in the front of the ankle and the back a nice stretch Then let's come into our dragon splits. Bring in your bolster or your block underneath the left buttocks. Let's come into that dragon splits. Just the best that you can. You can have your block up higher. Whatever you whatever is in your practice. Or you can bring it down to medium or down to low whatever you are comfortable with today
say we pet. Ten seconds. Come up to the hand. Take that block away. Let's come up into down dog. Just walk the dog here for a few moments. And then come down onto the knees. So we're coming into that saddle pose on the other side. So making, getting your bolster ready to come down to saddle. This time the right leg comes out. So the right leg straight and the left leg is bent. Tuck the tailbone and then lay down over your bolster. So you're getting a nice stretch right through the hip flexor here. Arms facing up, or you can bring the hands, clasp the hands above the head, opening up through the heart, whatever's in your practice. We're here for four minutes. Just breathe. minutes to go. Last 30 seconds, we're almost there, stay with it.
hands, helping hands coming up. Let's bring that left leg out in front. Give the legs a shake and just take your bolster and blocks off to the side. Laying back down on your mat for our lying twist. So bring the arms out to the side, raise both legs, flex the feet, take the right leg over the left. Take the right leg over the left and back underneath into twisted roots. Inhale. Exhale, allow both legs to fall to the left side. And take the gaze to the right fingertips. If it's in your practice, bring that left hand onto the right knee, gently guide it towards the earth. Don't worry too much if your shoulder comes off the earth, but if over time it may come back down, that's okay. And just breathe into this twist, let go of any tension. We're here for five minutes. So twisting to the left side here, we're simulating the descending column. So our palm system, elimination system. Bringing balance to our digestive system. To our Agni. Just breathe, the driving. seconds, stay with it. Allow the body to melt.
20 seconds. Let's come back up through center. Undo the legs. Bring the knees into the chest. This time take the knees in opposite directions. Nice big massage on the sacrum. Big circles with the knees. Back the other way. Bring the knees into the chest. Let's take the hands underneath the knees, three rocks along the spine. If you don't want to do any rocks, just simply with helping hands coming up. Otherwise, come with me. So straighten the right leg out on the earth, sit high on the sit bones. And then slide that right knee in, right foot to the earth. Bring the left ankle onto the right knee. Inhale, hands on the earth. And then sit forward, just come to your capacity. So we're coming in to thread the needle here. Nice stretch through the glutes, through the thigh, long through the spine. Come to your edge, resolve to stay still. Just breathe here, you jar breath. Ninety seconds. in your practice you can just slightly move forward keep the intensity there
then sitting back, leaving the left ankle on that right knee and coming into square pose. Lifting up, adjusting your position and just make sure that those legs are stacked on top of each other. Bring the fingertips on the earth. You may need your belt here. Just breathe. Off to jive breath. Let's inhale. Raise the right hand. Bring it onto the spine, left hand takes hold of the right elbow, just draw that towards the crown, and breathe. Staying here, I'll bring that left hand around to take hold of the right. using your belt if you need. Right elbow to the sky, left elbow to the earth. Sixty seconds, we're almost there. Forty seconds. Inhale up, bring that left leg across the right, bring that right heel in towards the buttocks. Make any adjustments, stack the knees on top of each other. And coming into our shoelace. Let's do one more twist here. Inhale up, exhale, bring the right elbow to the outside of that left knee. You can have the palms out flat or Jhana Mudra, whatever's in your practice. 
Lift up through the spine. Take the gaze over the left shoulder. Spine is nice and long. Breathe up through the chakras. Sixty seconds. Thirty seconds. back to the right side. Undo the legs. And come into windscreen wiper here. So if you need to come through a vinyasa, through a flow, Anything that you need to do before Shavasana, please come and do that now. You might, might need a nice forward fold. Maybe shake the legs. But let's come into Shavasana. Gathering anything you need. To be the most comfortable that you can be. Laying down on the back, bring the arms out to the side, just beside the body, maybe a little bit out, palms facing up. Well, you may like to take the left hand on to the heart, the right hand on to the solar plexus. Let's take three big yogic breaths here. Inhale. And exhale with a sigh. Ah. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, let it out. One more, inhale. Ah. Just 
making any adjustments now. Long through the spine. If you have an eye pillow, place that over the eyes. Your blanket. And take the awareness to the breath. Inhale from the Muladhara Chakra. Through to the crown. Swadhisthana Chakra. Sahasvara Chakra. Exhale back down to Muladhara. Two more like this. So breathing light right up to the crown. The drishti comes to the third eye center. And then exhale down to the Muladhara Chakra. Drishti to the tip of the nose. One more. And on the exhale, allow the exhale to just gently ease out of the body. And coming into your natural rhythm of breath. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Just relax. And breathe. Witnessing the temperature of the breath on the inhale. Maybe a little cool. And on the exhale, the breath is slightly warmer. And prana, life force energy. Take your awareness now to the sounds within the room. The sound of my voice. The sound of the birds in the background. And then gently allow those sounds to float away with your next ex exhale. <sighs> Inhale now and taking your awareness to outside the room. Maybe you can hear sounds outside the room. car passing by the sound coming from another room In. and on the next exhale allow those sounds to float away Coming back to the breath, back to your body. And with each exhale, allow the body to become heavy, melt down into the earth.
gently introducing some movement into the fingers and toes. Rolling the head from side to side. Raise the right hand above the head. And roll over onto the right side body. Staying here in the fetal position for a few moments and taking your thoughts back to today's intention. When you're ready with helping hands coming up to a seated position, half lotus or easy pose. Let's take a left hand in Jhana Mudra, palms facing up. Two piece fingers of the right hand to the third eye center, long through the spine. Exhale through both nostrils. Cover the right nostril with the thumb. Inhale through the left for five, four, three, two, and one. Close the left. Exhale right for five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale right, close the right, exhale left, inhale left, close the left, exhale right, inhale right, Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Inhale left. Close the left. Exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right. Exhale left. Let's do one more round together. Inhale left. Close the left, exhale right. Inhale right. Close the right, exhale left. Put the right hand down to the right knee. Inhale. through the body, witnessing all the sensations. And just acknowledge each sensation. With complete equanimity. Clasp the hands behind the back. Inhale. Exhale, fold forward, surrender yourself to Mother Ruth. Inhale up to a seated position. Rub the hands. Take the palms over the eyes, feel the warmness, one breath. Draw the hands away from the face, open the eyes to a soft gaze. Namaskar mudra to the crown of the head, to the body, to the 
the throat for speech into the heart of love and kindness. Let's close our practice with one arm and three shantis. Namaste. Namaste.